my hair is blowing all over the place and uh, just not looking real good. Um, I wanted to make a quick vlog. I'm going to try to make it quick because I know my 15 minute vlogs, people rarely see them. I like to watch everybody's from beginning to end no matter what it is just because I find people fascinating. But the main subject today that I'd like to speak about is chronic health issues. Um, I do have a vlog um, that talks about some of my health issues. Um, I deal with a lot of pain. I have heart related issues. Um, they fixed the birth defect. Excuse me, I'm extremely tired um, and wore out. Um, they fixed a birth defect in 2013 through uh, open heart surgery doing a bypass. They used the artery from my left breast. Uh, it was not because of clogged arteries, which is amazing because I love my bacon cheeseburgers. So that was surprising. As of then, my arteries were fine. But they fixed, I had a what was called a, a myocardial bridge. Um, you would have to Google it. It's kind of hard to explain because I don't know all the heart, na the names for the, you know, arteries and chambers and all that because I'm medically stupid. Well, not stupid, but I just don't grasp a lot of stuff. I have to research every time uh, they give me a new syndrome. <laughs> but anyway, that was supposed to have fixed the pain. Um, my surgeon said he he almost guarantees that that would help with the pain because I have an awful lot of chest pain. I've had it for years. Most of the time I stay home, but if you look at my vlogs, just for the short time I've had this channel, um, I've been to the hospital quite a bit for different procedures. And, you know, a miracle happened. They thought my... Uh, bypass was leaking and it was more than one test that confirmed it was leaking and they were talking about uh, cutting me open again and redoing the entire bypass uh, probably using an artery from a leg instead of my breast since they use the big I don't know the name but the big the biggest artery in the breast um, but when they did the heart cath, the latest heart cath, everything was fine. So that was definitely a miracle, but I still experience a lot of chest pain. Because of insurance reasons, it, Medicaid is not being accepted anymore as of late last year for adults. For a lot of specialties, including cardiology, pulmonary, which I uh, need a pulmonary doctor now because they no longer accept Medicaid. Um, I found out today with children it's a little different but um, uh, I deal with chronic back pain as well at, from, uh, it stems from a car accident when I was uh, six, 17 um, I have two vertebrae out of line I was supposed to have surgery they were the T4 and T5 I was supposed to have surgery back then and I have yet and of course the doctors have warned me if you fall the wrong way you could be paralyzed well thus far nothing but bone spurs and pain have developed I have lower chronic back pain um, which caused me a lot of grief I that's one reason why I have the hospital bed not only do I have uh, moderate sleep apnea because of my anxiety I cannot wear a mask pillows or the face mask so I just pray I don't die in my sleep one day um, but today I did nothing strenuous I met with a new friend uh, we had drinks when I say drinks we're talking Denny's we had a soda and a sweet tea um, and talked for an hour and a half two hours and then got in the school line a little early because we all have kids and met up with another friend of hers, which I'm getting to know her, um, and just chatted. And just from sitting in the non-movement, um, I'm paying for it now. 
Um, it really upsets me because, I'm sorry, let me get rid of that message. It bugs me when stuff pops up. Um, it really upsets me because I'm young, I'm 45. And compared to some of y'all, I'm an old fart. Um, but Dirt was here before I was born. So I'm not older than Dirt. But um, it irritates me because I still have so much unpacking to do. I have tons of stuff I need to do around the house. Um, and when I feel good, I do things and I overdo, which most people with chronic diseases do that and then they end up paying for several days, not just a few hours of Tylenol, but several days. <clears throat> and um, it's just, I came on here to complain um, and to whine a little bit. <laughs> Um, it's just irritating. It's irritating because there's people, which I learned today, um, people, uh, my new friends know people or are related. I'm not going to say names or whatever, but I wouldn't remember anyway. But people who are able-bodied, they, yes, they have issues, but they're able-bodied. And they don't, I'm not saying they're faking, but they consider themselves disabled and don't choose to do anything. When people with real problems, I, I would love to have my apartment in order. I would love to have things unpacked and be able to sweep and mop and to be able to do dishes without doing them in shifts and to stand there and cook a whole meal and without taking breaks. That's why our meals are not three or four things anymore. It's usually simple things or microwavable, which is horrible, and it's not teaching my daughter any life skills, but that's just the way it is. But it upsets me. It's almost like when I have my pain so bad that my super strong medications my controlled things are not working and it's hours and hours of agonizing pain I will go to the ER and a lot of doctors have seen me a lot and they know exactly what works for me and they take care of me or they keep me for observation especially when it is the chest pain just to make sure that things are okay um, but, you know, a lot of the doctors that don't know me and a lot of the nurses sometimes give me that look. And anyone with chronic pain that goes to the ER frequently knows that look. It's the look of your drug seeker. You're this, you're that. I have had health issues since 94 and they've gotten worse gradually. And over the last 12, 13 years, it's really quickly it's not gradually anymore I have I uh, undiagnosed issues I don't know I'm ha I have MS type symptoms which I'm scared to be tested for and my doctor doesn't seem to be in a hurry to test me for or it could be fibromyalgia I have a friend that has that and I have a lot of similar symptoms but my doctor is not in a hurry to have me tested for that either it's the wonderful world of being on Medicaid and not having many doctors who accept that. And I said I would make this short and it's nine minutes already. I apologize. But um, I just wanted to get on here and to let you know in case you have chronic diseases, chronic pain, depression. I know uh, Weightless Wendy deals with a lot of depression and mental health issues and I, and I do and I'm sure a lot of us do and I don't know very many people on here yet I'm getting to know people um, but you know you're not alone and it's okay sometimes to cry and to get it out because if you don't it just builds up and it ends up coming out in a very negative way, either hurting yourself. I'm not, I'm not talking about like cutting yourself harm. Uh, if you do that, please get help. Um, 
but it does come out negatively. You've got to let things go. You've got to release things. Um, if it's to God or if it's to your higher power, that's a 12-step thing, and I've never been through that, but I do believe in God. A lot of people don't, but they do have a higher power. Um, burn sage. I burn sage. I'm Native American, and I burn sage, and I'm also a Christian. So it's kind of conflicting there, but um, do whatever it takes to make it through. Um, some days I was telling my friend, uh, some days... You know, after I take Sarah to school, I come home and I just curl up in a ball and cry because I'm hurting so bad because I hate taking the strong medications because of the side effects and I'm scared if something happens or if I have to go get Sarah, it'll be in my system. It will legally be in my system and I don't take more than the, I'm prescribed, but I'm still, there's still that fear. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway... So, maybe just say a little prayer for me, but you guys aren't alone. You guys that have chronic health issues of any type, I mean, I've got a list, a list, but I'm blessed. I'm not terminal. I don't have cancer. I pray I never get any type of cancer. Um, I'm still here. Um plan on being here until I'm very old and gray and senile. I hope I never get senile, but you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of make a really personal vlog and um, just share my poopy day with you. And I have a lot of poopy days. And sometimes when I do, I make silly videos like the cat video this morning and yesterday the wish list video. Those are usually days when I don't feel good. Um, but I wanted to show my face. Um, and it's 12 minutes, so I will let you guys go. And if you made it to the end of the video, uh, say Batman. Okay, personal joke with someone. Um, but I can tell who doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> anyway, I am enjoying getting to know some of you. The crafting community. You guys are awesome to each other. I can't wait to join. Um, I'm slowly building my supplies. Uh, it's hard with a very low income, but uh, hopefully by Christmas I'll be able to, um, you know, send a couple of people that um, I'm attracted to. Not physically, but um, personality-wise. Um, send them my stuff hopefully it's not too uh, horrible and disgusting and, and cheap but anyway you guys have a wonderful night um, and God bless and tell someone you love them because you never know how long they're going to be here also I have a prayer request this is very important a friend of mine her brother is going through a whole lot of medical stuff and they found out some really bad news tonight so, uh, his name is Kevin. I hope she doesn't mind if I say his first name. Um, and he's very sick. And he needs some prayers. So, say a little extra prayer for him. I would appreciate it. And I know she and he would appreciate it. And, uh, okay. You guys, God bless. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.